Okay, forgive me. I don't do intros that well. I made a review of the Twilight Zone episode, Spur of the Moment, which stars Diana Hyland as Anne, a rich socialite who pretty much has everything going for her. One day, decides to go horseback riding. And during that, she encounters a mysterious woman on a horse dressed in black, looking like some kind of crazed phantom. This woman rides towards Anne, and gets scared and bolts in the opposite direction, trying to get away from her. This woman just keeps screaming out her name and saying, Anne, wait! But Anne is too frightened to, to know what this woman's intentions are. And when she finally gets home to her family, and, they're, and she's very scared, and her father calls the police and wants to find out who this mysterious woman is. Well, here's a little bit of a spoiler. That woman was her, 25 years from now. And how she went back in time, I don't know. There's never an answer. The only answer you're given is that she's in the Twilight Zone. Her older self, dressed like some crazed phantom, is trying to per trying to warn her about a mistake she made. Or trying to stop her from making a mistake she will make. And what mistake is that? Um, I don't, I'm not going to tell you because uh, in case you're interested in seeing this episode. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. Unfortunately, Anne can never catch her in time enough to warn her. I got to say, this was a pretty good episode. I really liked it. I liked the life lesson they kind of throw in the with a sci-fi twist to it. I think the, the life lesson they're trying to give is you got to... You made the mistake, and now it's come back to bite you in the butt. you got to learn to live with your past mistakes. And I think they just put that social commentary in this episode perfectly. Diana Highland was good as Anne. For some parts, you you like her. In other parts, you feel, feel nothing for her because she seems so quite contempt with everything. When you, when you get them... When you see the older Anne. And, uh, well, and I didn't even know that was Diana Highland at first. Because I'm so used to seeing her as a blonde. I don't know if that's a... She dyed her hair or that's a wig. But you know what she looked... You know who she looked like? Di Ver Veronica Hamill from Hill Street Blues. They look too much alike. I thought it was Veronica Hamill <laughs> when I first saw this episode. No, but I saw in the closing credits it, it was uh, Diana Highland. She's had a pretty good, diverse career... I mean, guest starring on other shows like The Fugitive, I Spy, and and also she also became a regular series regular on Eight Is Enough, but only in the first season, well, half of the first season when she became sick with breast cancer, and she was engaged to John Travolta, who was 18 years younger than her, and sadly she passed away in 1977 at the age of 41. She she is sadly missed. The Twilight Zone. Uh, I don't didn't, did not start the anthology series, but it definitely uh, I think it popularized it. There have been so many Twilight Zone wannabes after this, like uh, the Hitchhiker, Tales from the Dark Side. Okay, uh, Tales from the Crypt doesn't count because that's based on a comic book, so so that that one doesn't count. But I gotta say this episode was pretty good. I really like the social commentary they put in this episode and, and it's trying to tell us we're not always we don't always know what decisions we make or how it's going to affect us so i give spur of the moment a 10 out of 10 sayonara